Creativity is definitely experiencing, in a sense, a renaissance, but I think it's more through studies that have been done over the last year, a few years, 10 years, to prove out that in any industry, from medicine to law to entertainment, creativity and sparking new ideas and doing things in new, unexpected ways is critically important to growth. I don't think that that's unique to any industry, and I don't think it's new. I think it's part of what, uh, there's, a, there's a writer named Charles Duhigg who in one of his books calls creatives innovation brokers that you're not going to come up with anything totally novel in the world at this stage nor have we since long long times ago from Homer to Shakespeare to to more modern but you can put pieces together in unique novel ways and by putting those pieces together we find things that grab audiences the idea of disruption is true and fascinating and it's what I think we all challenge ourselves with if we're pursuing what's next. Obviously we need to mix things up. As I say, you need to be an innovation broker. You need to put pieces together in unique and novel ways. That is disruption. It's not doing things now the way we did before and so I think if you're chasing ideas and what will intrigue um, and interest audiences and people, trying to disrupt their lives is what you must do. But I can watch shows that are on Netflix that are presented in a pretty traditional documentary food format and the way they create those shows, if it's the length of time or what they're doing in the show, showing chefs cooking or trying to teach you how to cook, they could be disrupting a traditional food show in not a huge way that makes a big difference, that suddenly everybody needs to watch that. I mean, Stranger Things on Netflix is a hugely disruptive show. It was incredibly successful. Uh, it has changed programming and how people view and binging, and it was part of an ecosystem of doing that, but it's a throwback to the 70s and Stephen King and Spielberg and all these. So I would argue that the ideas at the core of it aren't anything new, but they mixed up stuff in such a familiar yet fun way that it disrupted an audience to really pay attention to it. So I'm a huge fan of innovation, meaning that I, I kind of love to hear about what's coming next, but at the same time, I try to have a healthy disregard for the buzzwords of it and that it's going to necessarily change the world. Has social media changed the world? Absolutely. Is it going to be around forever? I have no idea. You have no idea. I don't know if Facebook's going to be around in 10 years. Facebook's around now, declining, but doing well because they have Instagram and WhatsApp. So everything morphs, but in social media, there's kind of four platforms around still. There's, there's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's Twitter, and society could shift to be tired of them and realize how much time we're spending with our face down on our phones and the next generation, which is arguably changing every three or five years now as a generation, not 10 or 15. They could just decide to throw all this over. So is VR going to be around forever? I don't know. In some form, maybe. Is 3D TV around? No. I think we just have to have in our space um, the, the interest to chase and pursue what's good for an idea and where can it be expressed rather than forcing the platforms to dictate what we come up with the ideas. And I don't know if it makes sense, but as a filmmaker, as a director, it'd be as if you told me you're making a movie, it's going to be projected. I get that technology, whether it's projected on a screen. I'm filming something, capturing it, we edit, we put it in front of somebody. But if you told me there's this new projector that has a thousand more lumens stronger, I don't even know what I'm talking about. If you told me that that technology should change how I shoot, that's not the way it works. VR shouldn't suddenly drive everything that you're doing, nor should sticking with TV continue to be what you do. You should import all of the tools that are at your disposal and see how your ideas can express themselves in the best way to connect with the best audience for a brand.